studying about a chapter called changes around us so when we see many changes around us day to time and changes are always continuous right changes are always happening and we see changes all around us always so suppose if you have get magical powers you know magicians right we see magical shows that time they produce new new things magical things suppose if we get that magical powers what will we usually wish the students will usually wish that the bed should fly the pen should fly our house should go from one place to another like that different people will have different wishes but still even without having magical powers we can do some changes and we can still observe the changes which are having around which are going on around us so without magical powers also still we can change few things what all changes we observe and what all things we can do we will be knowing in detail in this chapter so what changes do we usually observe around us so in agricultural fields crops change time to time how first thing the soil will be plowed then seeds will be sowed in that soil then slowly the seeds will germinate and develop into plants leaves come branches come then fruits come then the fruits will be harvested in that way crops change time to time then dried leaves fall off so we observe sometimes on the ground the dry the leaves which will be dried will turn brownish in color and fall on the ground then leaves change their color so some leaves will be greenish in color which are alive whereas some leaves will be dead so they will be slowly turning into yellowish or brownish in color then flowers bloom and wither away so what is what do you understand by this suppose taking example of a rose flower if a rose flower blooms on a tree it looks very beautiful right but on the plant it stays like that for only one or two days then the petals fall off so these are the many changes which we observe in our day to day life then taking example of our human body as our age is increasing there are many changes occurring in our body right what are such changes we see that height is growing hair length will grow nails will also grow we will be cutting our nails once a week once a 10 days right then height increases weight increases then hair growth happens nails also grow size of the body grows hair develops all over your body so these are the changes which we observe in day to day lives so broadly the changes can be classified into two ways types of the changes are reversible change and irreversible change so broadly the changes are of two types reversible and irreversible how can you define reversible change reversible changes are those changes in which things can be converted at into original state that means even though if the change occurs the things can be converted back into their original shape or state what is irreversible change those changes in which things cannot be converted back to its original state are known as irreversible changes example of a take a easy example of a reversible change suppose if you are blowing a balloon It, with your help of your mouth you are blowing air into a balloon balloon will increase in size blow it only little do not burst it so after blowing the air the balloon increases in size then that is a change increase in size so after you remove the air from the balloon the balloon gets back gets back the balloon comes back to its original size so that is a reversible change when the air has been blown the balloon increased in size when the air has been removed the balloon came to its original state so that was a reversible change then same way for that balloon if you blow the balloon to a then the balloon increases in size and then if you prick a small pin that means if you put a small pin pinch a small pin into that balloon the balloon will burst and lose its shape and then it loses its size and shape then can it come back to its original shape and size no right so that is an irreversible change so understood right when a balloon is blown it increases in size but when the air from the balloon is removed the balloon come back comes back to its original state
that is a reversible chain same balloon if you blow it and burst it with the help of a prick of a pin then it bursts and changes all its shape and size then it cannot come back to its original chain shape so that is a reversible and irreversible chain now we will be know, dealing with many examples what happened in our day to day life we will see many examples of reversible and irreversible changes let's see some examples of reversible changes and irreversible changes so what is reversible change things things which can things which can be brought back to its original state are known as reversible changes so changes which can be brought back to its original state are reversible changes and irreversible changes are those changes which cannot be reverted back to its original state so reversible change examples are melting chocolate suppose if we melt a chocolate in a double boiler and we cool it again it hardens so that is the way melting chocolate is a reversible change you can take a bar of chocolate in a double boiler and melt it and then when you cool it down again again it becomes a bar of chocolate so that is why melting chocolate is a reversible change blowing a balloon as i told you is a reversible change folding paper into toys you can make paper toys like aeroplane or any other thing you can play with it for some time and then you can unfold the paper again so the paper comes back to its original state then rolling a ball of dough for making chapati we take wheat flour water and oil and we roll it into a dough and then we press it flat to make a chapati suppose the chapati doesn't come round in shape then you can take the chapati roll it back into a dough again and again press it to make it flat so that is how rolling a ball of dough is a reversible change wet clothes to dry clothes as we see in our daily life we wash clothes so that is how we know wet clothes can become dry and again dry clothes can become wet then stretching a rubber band a rubber band can be stretched up to some extent and when we stop the stretching it comes back to its original state so that is why stretching a rubber band is a reversible change cold milk to hot milk if we want to make tea or coffee we heat the milk then the cold milk becomes hot and same way after putting off the flame and putting the utensil off the flame away from the flame for some time then again the hot milk come hot milk comes down to its cold stage so cold milk to hot milk is also a reversible change so these are the examples of some reversible changes let's see some examples of irreversible changes seeds into trees so we have seen if we plant sow seeds in the soil after few days they germinate and small leaves develop into them then those leaves convert into stems twigs branches fruits develop flowers develop so that is how seeds convert into trees but trees again cannot be converted into seed stage that is how it is irreversible change then raw egg will be boiled in hot water to make it a boiled egg but boiled egg on cooling down doesn't become raw egg again that is the reason it is a irreversible change then batter to idli to make idli or dosa we take urad dal rice water and salt and mix soak it in some time in water and then ground it in a mixer grinder to make a batter a paste or a mixture then when we steam the batter under water pressure it becomes idli but idli in any state doesn't become batter back that is the reason it is irreversible change then grains to flour to make chapati we take wheat grains and convert it into flour in mills then same way we convert bengal gram flour there are many types of rice flour etc but those flours can never go back into grain stage again then cow dung will be converted into energy form how into biogas form biogas can be used as a fuel for producing electricity for cooking purpose but the biogas will never be converted into cow dung again so it is a never irreversible change milk will be curdled and it will be converted into paneer but paneer will never go back and form milk again so it is a irreversible change but comes develops into form of flour but flour again never goes and develops into a bud salt and sugar if we make a lemon juice we dissolve along with the lemon juice salt and sugar in the water but after can we get back the salt and sugar no right after dissolving we cannot get it back to its original state 
also it can be termed as a irreversible change cooking of the food after we cook the vegetables dal then we cannot bring back them to its raw stage right so it is a irreversible change then if we cut a piece of wood into small small pieces then can it again form into a big piece of wood no when we cut a wood with a saw saw is nothing but a blade wood turns into small small pieces of wood then those small pieces of wood will not become big piece again then milk will be sour sometimes milk will be curdled or if you add lemon juice or vinegar to the milk it will be curdled that means the solid part and the liquid part will separate then we cannot bring the milk back to its original state so these are the examples of some irreversible changes so till now we have chased see two types of changes reversible and irreversible changes in the changes around us now let's see some more type of changes in the changes around us